Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? The one and only. Well, the Marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets, even from us. You can count on my help if you play by the rules. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace and make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. Good. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cost credits, nothing in Neon is free. Come on. It's pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. You learned quickly that in Neon, staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the Marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step. Someone tried to hold up a bank here, they'd be gunned down without a moment's hesitation. Hostages or not, there are two things you don't do in here. One, you don't mess with Bayou's money, and two, you don't take Aurora off world. But you understand, don't you? That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Keep that in mind, and you'll fit right in. I really wonder what actual meat tastes like. Hey, Billy. You got a second? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of Goodman's people. Sure. <laughs> Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? Hmm. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, I'm one of them. I can help you. But right now my life is in danger, and I haven't even done anything wrong. Free Star Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebside. Place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. Seems like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days.
This is private property. You'd better keep walking. This is private property. Do you now? What? No, that's not true. You know how it is. Maybe we can work something out. I hear you. You go in, talk to the man, and then you come right back out. Try anything stupid, and it's your funeral. Here, this will get you. Well now, look here. Well now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? Little light on credits, are ya? Ah, it's awful kind of you to intervene on my behalf. But I think I have the matter well in hand. Thank you all the same for your concern. If you're attempting to appeal to my good nature, you're proceeding under a false premise. You see, in my line of work, it doesn't exactly pay to be soft. What's your stake in this, anyway? Well, I'm afraid that's just none of my concern. Then offer me something I want. And I'll consider it. Well, that ain't wrong. Well, that's easy to promise. But I ain't sure you can deliver on what you're suggesting. You think I like having to do this? I don't. I've got a point. I'll give you that. That is true. I suppose I could make an exception. It's just this once, you understand. It just promise me you'll keep my compassionate nature a secret. Folks might try to take advantage. Goodman's with the Did you talk to Goodman? Dealing with him won't cause ripples. Yeah. I figured he wouldn't want to make an enemy of the Freestar Rangers. Glad the badge still means something around here. Hmm. The Syndicate doesn't worry all that much about the Rangers. I think our new deputy here is just a real smooth talker. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. And she's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up.
What's up? A Freestar Ranger and his... What are you? A sidekick or something? Now that's what I call real conviction. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. Aw, oh, ain't you polite. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? My job is to keep All right. So I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? Look. They didn't tell me what they were going to do. How was I supposed to know they were going to go after some farmer? You should have asked when you took the contract. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. It... It's not that simple. Huh. That... Makes a lot of sense, now that I think about it. I'd like to think so. I guess if I can't trust a free star ranger, then I can't trust anyone, right? I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first and he offered half up front. Never met him directly though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here. Take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Yeah. Sure. Next time you're at the Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone could crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, deputy. Then I'm free to go. Oh. Uh, you're welcome. Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. Ship that landed not too long ago? Sure is something. Hey, deputy. Diego Monroe, at your service. These rangers are some hard-blooded folk. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Yeah, I bet. It just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled systems by comparison. Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Did he now? Well, in that case, challenge accepted. It's only a matter of time before I know every dirty little secret stored in this thing. 
Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. Oh, I will. I guarantee it. Let's talk for a minute. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. Good. Stay focused on the task at hand and don't take your eye off the target. That's how a ranger should think. What did you learn from this starship thief? Now we're getting somewhere. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. All right. How can I help? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead has posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome. So be careful. Good hunting, deputy.